Hello, my name is Scott Neal. Welcome back to another how-to segment. Today I want to talk about a special type of Active Directory container. I'm not talking about OUs, but it's something that I can use to store and organize objects without the overhead of an organizational unit. But before I want to talk about that, I do want to give you a brief review of containers. You may know that there are several types of container objects that are installed when I create a domain controller for the first time. For instance, the user's container and the computer's container. Users, computers, servers, they're all automatically populated somewhere when you add them to the domain. Users, of course, are automatically populated to the user's container, while computers and servers go to the computer's container. And you may also notice when you open up the user's container for the very first time that there are two user accounts, the administrator account and, of course, the guest account, as well as several dozen uh, group accounts that can be used to perform different types of administrative functions out of the box on your domain. There are some other containers out there as well. The site container actually contains a list of sites if they're available. A site is really nothing more than a physical and localized grouping of objects that can be based upon IP addresses. The domain, of course, is a container unto itself, and it is the fundamental unit of Active Directory. It really is what gives us the ability to centrally manage the resources on our network. There's a couple other containers, too, you may notice. Foreign security principles. This really allows us to see trust relationships that we may develop with other domains. And, of course, the good old-fashioned organizational unit. This uh, container, by default, is used for a variety of things, but in reality, it's really designed to be used to apply special rules to a certain group of objects using things like group policy objects, or if I want to delegate authority for a group of people for a particular group of resources. So, there is another container out there that's not enabled by default. I call it the Active Directory Container Object. Uh, Perhaps you have a newly installed application. SCCM, for instance, requires a newly created container. Or maybe you want to wish to organize objects a little bit differently, but you don't want all the overhead associated with an organizational unit. Unlike organizational units, AD containers cannot have group policies applied to them, and they are not enabled by default. However, I can enable them by using the Active Directory Services interface editor or ADSI edit.msc command and I want to show you how to do that today. So without further ado, let me give you a demonstration. Okay, so you can see that I have uh, logged into my domain controller for my server 2012 R2 server and I want to uh, just show you here, if I wanted to go in and create a container object in my Active Directory, you'll see that I am limited pretty much to organizational units. And for a lot of people, they will just go ahead and create an organizational unit and name that organizational unit and use it pretty much like a container. Uh, I don't particularly uh, want to do that in this particular instance. So what are my options? Well, I do have the ability to go in and run the ADSI editor uh, just by typing ADSIedit.msc. Say OK. And then I can connect to my schema. Connect to. Drop down here. Choose schema. Say OK. There's my schema. If I open this up, you'll see that there are lots of things, there are lots of attributes in my domain that we have the ability to, to modify. And if I look through here, you will see that I will find a container object. Okay, once I've located my container object, I can right click on it, I can go to properties, and I'm going to look for this feature right here. This is default hiding value for true. And I'm going to edit that. And I'm going to say false. Hit OK. Hit OK again. And then I can close out of this. Its job is done. Now, when I go into my 
Active Directory users and computers again. This time when I want to create a different type of container object, you will see that that container object is now available and I can simply name it and there I am. I have a container object that I can use to store and catalog my uh, resources in my domain. So there you go. I hope you found this helpful and I look forward to seeing you again. Thanks a lot.